are Spring Clarinos. My name is Louise. I make new videos on a Monday and Thursday, so do subscribe. And today we're going to be talking about online safety. As a lot of you know, I'm a total internet addict, mostly because all of you lovely lot are there, but also because I like all the other stuff that it has to offer. And so it's Darcy, and we use a lot of technology in our home. We use laptops and iPads and phones, and we use the TV to stream video and that kind of stuff through. So when Tesco Mobile got in touch and told me about their Tech in Check month, which is a month of advice and information and tips and tricks, which is hosted on their social content hub, which is linked below for you. It's a great place for parents and carers and children and young adults to go and find all kinds of information about technology and online safety. I thought that it sounded like a really, really great campaign and something I really wanted to be involved with. And I thought it might be nice for you and me to share some of my tips that I'm doing at home with Darcy to keep my family safe too. Tip number one is to keep all the passwords on your devices. So that means if Darcy wants to use my phone or the iPad, she has to come to me and ask me to unlock it. And that way I always know when she's using it. I can be aware that even if I'm in another room, I can be aware that she's having some screen time playing on an app or on a game or something. And I can go and check on her and really keep a BDI on what she's getting up to. May you unlock it please? Yes, I can. Thank you for asking nicely. Here you go. Darcy really likes the children's apps and so whenever we get a new one I take the time to go through it with her which might sound a little bit boring or like a bit of a chore if you don't actually want to sit through an entire kids app but it's handy for two reasons firstly because you are familiar with it and it teaches her how to play the game so she won't keep coming to me for instructions but also because you can check to see that there's no hidden surprises in there there's nothing that as a parent you don't feel like you want your child to be seeing or engaging with and also I make sure just to have a quick swizz at the reviews on the app store or just ask around and see what people think of it just to make sure that I feel completely comfortable um, although every time I download a new app it's completely pointless because she always goes back to the same old Peppa Pig one anyway well done that needs to go in the oven now. tip three even though Darcy isn't actually at the age yet where she's communicating with other people online. When she is, I want to be very clear with her and have a really careful conversation about people not necessarily being who they appear to be and about never ever giving out any information about yourself, like where you go to school, where you live, phone numbers, because you can never be too careful when you're talking to strangers on the internet. As somebody who uploads a lot of content on social media, particularly pictures or uh, little statements or blog posts or anything like that, I noticed that there are a lot of nasty comments that can be given to you and when I take further research and have a little look into it, it's often actually children and young people that are saying really horrendous nasty things and I think the reason for this is that children or young people of that age haven't learned their particular social skills yet or they feel like there's no implications or consequences because no one's monitoring them and they feel like it's okay to do that because they're not going to be told off. So when Darcy's at an age where she can interact with people or comment on things, I am actually going to be one of those parents that checks her phone and not necessarily checks it but monitors it to make sure that A, she's behaving appropriately but also B, people are behaving appropriately to her as well. Um, I think it's important as parents to monitor these things. I know some parents feel like it's an invasion of privacy, but I feel like that's safeguarding their well-being and also teaching them moral and good social media behaviour themselves. Number five is to teach your child about the safety features of their devices. Most apps and games and social platforms will have some kind of report feature, so if you or your child feel like they are being treated inappropriately or they're seeing something that disturbs them or distresses them in some way, you can click on that feature. You might have to do a little bit of research to find it, maybe Google it or have a quick look at the whole app to find it, but you can click on that and that will usually send a message to the app makers or somebody that works for that company and they'll deal with that issue for you. Of course, if there's something that is particularly disturbing to you or you feel it's really inappropriate, screenshot it and take it to the police because they do take these things very seriously. And number six, need two hands for that one, number six is to make sure that you have a good balance of screen time and real life time. It's really easy to be sucked into our devices and while away our time on them, but some of the best things in life happen when you are not on your screens just be sure to have your phone handy so that you can take a snap of it. 
I hope that you have enjoyed all of these tips and that you do go and check out Tesco and Mobile's social content hub, it's linked below for you. I'm interested to hear what your tips are in the comments and I will see you soon for another wonderful, I hope, video. Thanks for watching, bye! First things first, I'm the realist. Yes, I know I mentioned that in a video a while ago and then I didn't say I'm the realist and then everyone was like, you didn't say it and I was like, oh sorry, I feel like I let you down and I feel like I let myself down. So first things first, I am the realist. But first things actually first, um, these cushions, I can see in the viewfinder that they add lovely texture and colour um, because I was going to have these flowers, ta-da, but they didn't really work. Um, but part